The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers just completed its final proposal of the Texas Coastal Study, often called the Ike Dyke, after Hurricane Ike devastated our coast in 2008. The next step is approval from Congress then finding the funds to support this idea. The feds will cover 65% of the $29 billion project. KXAN's Maggie Glenn explores what Texans would get for their money after the 20 years it would take to complete. Nicholas was a uh, kind of a baby storm. Rice University professor Jim Blackburn says we're fortunate tropical storm Nicholas wasn't a category four or five with the same path. And it would bring 25 feet of water up into Galveston Bay and into the Houston Ship Channel. As the co-director of the Severe Storm Prediction Education and Evacuation from Disasters Center, he says it's only a matter of time before another storm that big, like Harvey, hits Texas again. That's why after Ike, which was only a category two storm, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been working on a coastal spine project for the past six years. The first piece of the plan is to put in a series of gated structures. They basically stay open most of the time. They just slide open and then when we're ready to deploy, they slide down into place. It's a combination of gray infrastructure, including seawalls, levees and pumps, and green infrastructure. We use the ecosystem restoration on the backside to naturally provide additional resilience. But Blackburn says the proposal won't do enough, especially since climate change is causing more intense storms. Our statistics have not caught up with the reality of climate change. And so the Corps of Engineers considers categories four and five storms uh, too rare to actually fall within their standard benefit cost analysis uh, format. And this coastal spine will protect us against a category one or two storm, but doesn't really do a, a lot against a category four or five storm. But the Army Corps of Engineers says it has to weigh the return on investment to protect a quarter of the state's population. Even in the event of a large storm, it may not reduce all of the risk, but it's doing a really good job of bringing that risk way down. Maggie Glenn at KXAN News. So if that price tag seems outrageous, consider this. It's $29 billion. Hurricane Ike, which was the catalyst for this project, cost $32 billion. And Harvey, which made landfall as a Category 4 storm, cost $125 billion.